Hello. It's me on stage. Weird, isn't it? Now, you either know who I am or you're anyone else, really. Whilst we wait, we're just getting our other microphone set up. I'm Jack. How you doing? Hello. That's what I like to hear. That's the episode. 11 a.m., everybody. We're kicking the con off at the creator stage with the right thing. Uh, a very niche YouTube show. That's how we get the excitement going. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like. Now, I've been very lucky to book three absolutely terrific Doctor Who Who tubers. Wow, that was loud. Uh, to come along with me. So, as we wait for the mics, I will bring them on. First of all is that one. The Doctor Who reviewer and father of the one-year-old Big Finish intern, Philip Hawkins, ladies and gentlemen. And the next, cosplaying as the seventh Doctor and looking damn fine. It is the creator of the Dark Days audio series, Wrestle on Productions, AKA Rory Guest. And with swagger like that, it's no wonder he's famous. And finally, you will either know him as Who Chaser or the Purple Doctor in the DW 2012 fan films. It is Dominic G. Martin. Right. Have we all got our mics? We all good? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, right, I'll go down hello. the road. Hello, hello. Philip, how are we doing? I'm good. I feel a bit um, underdressed. <laughs> hello. I'm, I'm not in a cosplay. Almost. I do have Doctor Who on my T-shirt. Along well, that with counts. Much, many other sci-fi You're representing things. it somehow. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rory, how are we doing? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm dressed as seven. Doctor Who said I always dress for the occasion. And uh, yeah, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Terrific. And Dom, how are we doing? My goodness, this is quite cool, isn't it? We've got yeah. an audience. I love that. <laughs> there are actual people here. People are watching us. Hello. I know. It's Having weird. Great, it's it's a lot different than online, isn't it? I know. It's we different. have to just talk to a camera. Now we have actual eyes. Hooray. <laughs> actual <laughs> eyes, actual interaction. This is incredible. It is. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, to explain, <laughs> the community show is essentially uh, created by myself to promote the fabulous people in the community, whether it be cosplayers, fan film creators, audio creators, it runs the gamut. And for the first part of our show, before we get on to a quiz, which I will be torturing these lot up here with, I task them with giving some amazing shout outs of their own. So people in the community that they are fans of or they just admire. So I'm gonna start with someone I think all three of us will know, Alia E. Tori. Do we all know Alia? Yep. Yes. She is a voice actress and impressionist, and if you don't know her, definitely go and check her out. Uh, I believe she's played Missy for you, Rory. Uh, yeah, she played Missy and an adult Susan, and I say this genuinely when I say she's one of the best voice actors I've ever, ever worked with. She really understands the characters every time, and whenever you send her a script, she just unleashes that emotion in ways that I didn't expect. No, absolutely. She is a talent. And Philip, we'll start with you. Who's the person you'd like to shout out? Uh, okay, so first of all, I'm going to shout out. Um, I had a long list, and then I was told I can only have two. So I'm had to, having to quickly narrow it down. But I'm going to go for um, a, a WhoTuber a, on YouTube called Gallifrey Forever 97, who, he, who makes... I mean, he does a lot of things, but he does make fantastic fan trailers. So he just has this brilliant knack of picking the perfect bit of music to go with the footage that he's putting together. Um, he can do it in all sorts of styles. He does things like Doctor Who trailers in the style of Avengers Infinity War trailers and, and all those sorts of things. And every time I watch it, I'm, I'm very jealous of his editing ability because he should be working as a professional editor, I think. So, yeah, that's my first pick. Uh, do I do my second one now or are we going down we'll, and coming we'll back? We'll go around. Okay. We'll come back to you. Rory, hey. who's yours? Hello. Uh, so I struggled at first to pick one because there are so many great people in the community and I wanted to pick some people I've worked with because I feel like it's, it's a nice sentiment. And then I was limiting that down and that was difficult. But I thought, why not shout out someone who's actually in the audience today? Uh, he goes mm -hmm. by Harry, well, Harrison Boyd. And Put your he, hand up, where are you? <laughs> oh. There he is. Hey. And uh, he's written quite a few stories for me. 
and they are all incredible stories. Uh, a lot of biblical imagery, and uh, genuinely, thank you. It's been brilliant working with you, and continuing to. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Excellent choice. Dom, can you top that? Well, <laughs> the person I want to shout out um, is a good friend of mine and Philip's, um, uh, Antonio Rastelli, who does some magnificent cover oh, yeah, artwork, fan art, that sort of thing. And he has run for the past like year, isn't it? Is it been a year? Yeah, over a year now. About that, yeah. He's done a fantastic uh, tortured like cult, cult Cthulhu D and D, that sort of thing, a game that we've been in. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. And the man is extremely creative and intelligent. And if he watches this at some point, whenever this gets into the public space, I hope he knows how special he is. <laughs> Another excellent choice. There's, we're doing well for choices, one of which even turned up. That's gone well. Right, we'll go down the list again, then we'll move on to the next part of the show. So my second one is a creator called 3D Doctor Who. I'm sure a lot of us will probably know they created the Dalek CGI series. Now, Doctor Who themselves created a Dalek animated series uh, that came out not too long ago. This one blows it out of the water and it's made by one man. How that happens, I do not know. But if you need to check out 3D Doctor Who, it's a fairly simple name to Google, Definitely go and check it out. The voice acting is incredible. The animation is incredible. Worth every second. Philip, over to you. So my second fan creator to shout out is uh, from New Zealand. And she makes absolutely fantastic clay models. And I believe she's been mentioned on the show before. Uh, Millie McKenzie. Uh, look her up on Twitter. She does these absolutely so detailed uh, models of, of mostly a lot of Doctor Who stuff, but also other properties as well. Uh, that they're, they're the kind of like, I'm, I don't want to say Funko Pop because they're nothing like Funko Pop, but they're, they're, they've got that kind of cutesy factor that Funko Pop has, but in a very different way um, and with a lot more detail. But they, they just look so good. Um, and she's from New Zealand and uh, posts all of her creations on Twitter. So do go and have a look at those because they're really good. Absolutely brilliant choice. Uh, Millie, funnily enough, has said she'd be making one of me soon. Ooh, lucky so that's you. fun. Unless she was joking, which is entirely possible. But we'll see about that. Rory, over to you. Hello again. Uh, so once again, it was limiting down people I've worked with because I, I would like to thank everyone who has helped me with Dark Days and everything really, all the voice actors, everyone, because I, be, I wouldn't be here without you guys. But uh, I limited it down to one person, and this person I decided to shout out because they single-handedly saved my series. Because when I started it, uh, a lot of people thought it was too ambitious, too, you know, it wasn't really getting off the ground. But then this person uh, recorded and wrote one just then as the argument was going on. And I would like to shout out Tom Christensen, who was written the most for the series and genuinely an incredible writer. The ideas he has is just insane level. So, yeah. You're watching. Yeah. <laughs> excellent choice. Excellent choice. You couldn't get him in the audience this time, unfortunately. No, no I'm sorry. Should have come. You would have gotten a clap. Dominic, the final shout-out, please. Okay. My final shout-out goes to a good friend of mine, uh, Siobhan Gallaghan, who has done... Is, he was an amazing impressionist. Uh, she does a fantastic William Hartnell and is honestly uncanny. And she does an amazing podcast that she's been so gracious to have me on a fair few times as well. And has just been a generally standout human and has helped me through a lot of things. So I owe her my thanks. Brilliant. And can we get a round of applause for every single person shouted out there who I'm sure got the warm fuzzies for watching this at home? or didn't watch it, and I consider that rude. So, moving on. You may have wondered, us three at the top, why we have a whiteboard each. At least that was the plan. Oh, there we, we go. go. Now you have a whiteboard each. Well, it's because we're doing the quiz next. And this quiz is a specialized quiz. Some will be Doctor Who specific ones, so people in the audience, feel free to play along. But also, I want to see how well you know each other. Oh, no. I like outing people. It's fun. I like torturing them on stage. It's fun. So I've got questions about these three in particular, and we'll see who watches the other stuff. This is where I get the question about myself wrong, isn't it? Correct. 
That's the game, anyway. Question one. Oh, and if I haven't explained it, write it down on the whiteboards, the answer. <laughs> There's lots of other colors here, too, if you want to have a pick. Lots of colors there. How do you write with it? It's a, well, it's a pen. Uh, if you haven't heard of a pen... You open the go. lid. That was actually question one. <laughs> open the pen. I Yay! Hey! Point to door. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you just clapped a man opening a pen. <laughs> Welcome to Comic-Con, everybody. Question one. This is a Doctor Who-centric one. Doctor Who has many spin-offs. We all know and love these spin-offs. But how many can you name? So when I say Doctor Who spin-off, I mean one's not starring one of the established Doctors. So if it does not star Hartnell through to Jodie Whittaker, there you go. It's a spin-off. I'll give him a few times. I'll give him some minutes. How are we all doing? We doing good? I can see some excellent cosplays. I see a McCoy. Uh, I see a Davis. Can I call for a clarification? Are we uh, officially licensed things only from the BBC? Or, hmm. or are we going licensed from creators that own the rights Not to their individual YouTubers, characters? Not YouTubers. I'll say that. Not YouTubers. Just on TV or film. So it has to have been on TV. TV or film, Not yes. Not direct to video. Uh, no, TV or film. Okay. I'll give him a few more seconds. Oh, it's only question one, and they're already asking for clarifications and stuff. Just wait until I get to the harder ones. Oh, how are we doing, Drashig? This is my favorite thing, by the way. I need to give it a name. Maybe I should give it, uh, let you guys pick a name. That'd be quite funny. I was thinking Terry or Bob. That was my two. Right, I think I've given them enough times. Can you all lift up your boards? so that the audience can see. We'll go down the list. Philip, what have you got? I've written really small, because I thought you. we were going to write all of them on once, but nope. clearly we're rubbing It's a whiteboard, out. Philip. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I've gone Canine and Company, Torchwood, Sarah Jane Adventures, mm -hmm. just Canine, uh, which was the Australian-produced Canine series, which aired on uh, okay. CBBC or something like that, uh, and Class. All excellent choices. A point for each. Rory, down to you. Uh, you see, at first I was going to go to direct video. That, that was my thing. I did put Saigon when being you isn't enough. But then uh, I put the Sarah Jane Adventures, Torchwood, K9 and Company, and K9. All excellent choices, a point for each. Do give a little tally on your whiteboards. Dominic? Okay, so I did the usual as has been mentioned before K9 and Company, K9 Australia. Sarah Jane Adventures, Tortured and Class, but I also took a chance if I listing Confidential and Totally Doctor Who. I dropped it. Mm. Well done, Dominic. Oh. I have indeed put Doctor Who Confidential and Totally Doctor Who on here. They are technically Doctor Who spin-offs that were on TV that does not star the Doctor. So well done. Now here's the thing. I should have mentioned this before. Dominic is a big fan of The Chase. Mm -hmm. If you don't know The Chase, it's basically where general knowledge comes a bit in handy. So. Root against Dominic is what I'm saying because he's going to get all of them right whether we like it or not. <laughs> we don't. So well done. Chance. So five points to Philip. How many did you five. get? Five points to Rory, and seven. Seven, seven points to Dominic. Oh, he's in the lead already. Question two. This one oh. is about our lovely Philip Hawkins here. Long has the fandom speculated on who the big Finnish intern is. It's a mystery that we all long to know the answer. And Philip, in a comedy skit, let us know the answer. It's his one-year-old baby. And in this comedy skit, it features a popular person in the big Finnish community. But who is it? It is either A, Katie Manning, who played Joe Grant. It is either B, Nicholas Briggs, who voices the Daleks, or C, Georgia Tennant, wife of David Tennant, who played the Doctor's daughter. So, have a think. Who's seen the video? If you're looking at the puzzled faces, you can see who's seen the video and who has not. I picked this one because it's my favorite video he's ever made. <laughs> it is adorable. If you haven't seen it, it's his baby pretending to be the intern. He's on the phone, he's babbling away. It's great. All right, lift up your boards, what do we got? Nick Briggs, Nick Briggs, no. Katie Manning, it was Nick Briggs. Oh, Dominic, I was just singing your praises. Oh, he's let us down, everyone. I don't have a lot of time, okay? You don't have a lot of time? It's a three choice question, Dominic. How much more time would you like? It's okay, yes, it it's only Nick about Briggs. a three minute video, so you've got time. Do so. I now? <laughs> I'll now, look it oh, up later. Here's the thing I've asked you this before, Philip. 
Could you inform the audience, how did you get Nick Briggs for a three-minute comedy skit? He's a busy man. Um, I just asked. Uh, I, don't, I have no prior relationship with Nick Briggs. I just messaged... Well, initially, I tried to message him on Twitter and didn't get a reply. So I just messaged the Big Finish Twitter account and said, look, I'm doing this thing. Is there any chance that Nick would record him ordering a really elaborate um, coffee order as if he's on the phone to the Big Finish intern? And they were like, we'll ask him. And they did. And he said yes. So, and then he sent me this little video of him ordering, I can't remember what it was, it was a really elaborate coffee order. It was like a double shot espresso macchino with extra <laughs> syrup or something like that. Well, if you guys want Nick Briggs to record your, yourself a little message, just ask. There we go, I'm sure he's not busy. We set a precedent now. It, yeah, uh, Nick Briggs, you have Philip Hawkins to blame for all those messages in your feed. Question three, back to Doctor Who. Now, I have a personal favourite episode of The Pandorica Opens, the Matt Smith finale. And in that, it introduces, rude, the Alliance. A bunch of different monsters, all smushed together. But which of these three were not in the Alliance? Which of these three were not there? Is it A, the Daleks? B, the Hoiks, everyone's favourite? And C, the silence. Which of those three were not in the alliance? I keep doing this. I'm showing you all the answer, by the way. I, d I, keep, I can't help it. I wrote on the back specifically so you can't see. It's too far away. Terrific. We're all good then. In that case, here's all the answers. <laughs> Just a really <laughs> bug. Oh, no. Sorry. We okay. It's okay. I'm athletic. Totally. <laughs> all right. Turn your boards around. Let's see what we got. Silence. See silence, silence is the correct answer. The silence weren't even in the show yet. I was being cheeky. I mean, the points for some reason was. I mean, they could have been there and we just forgot. Yeah. That, uh, uh, this guy, this guy with this Doctor Who jokes. I'm the host, no jokes for you, my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Hoiks confuses me. What episode did the Hoiks come from? The Hoiks came Ooh. from uh, Love, Love and Monsters. Monsters. Did he also, was he also played by Peter Kay? <laughs> no. He should have been. He was also in Torchwood, I believe. He was in Exit Wounds. No, uh, he was in the finale, Exit Wounds, season two. He was one of the distractions <laughs> that uh, they had to face. And, uh, yeah. Well, we're all, we're all favorite uh, Hoix fans. Hashtag Hoix fans. Get it, Tressie. <laughs> Question four. Oh, this one's about our lovely Dominic, our good friend, your friend and mine, Dominic G. Martin. Now, I was tempted to do a question about the Purple Doctor, but that's boring. So I did one about his excellent cosplay videos. He does these cosplay videos called How To Cosplay, basically taking you through Doctor's looks, telling you where to get them from, and look awesome. But I want to know, out of these three options that I just keep showing you, out of these three options, which has the most views? <laughs> it is A, the Tenth Doctor's brown suit. B, the Eighth Doctor's TV movie look. Or C, the Eleventh Doctor, Series 7B. Mm, it's weird to hear my voice so boomed. <laughs> Hello. Tom Baker's here now. <laughs> All right, turn them around. Let's see what we got. We got C, Eleventh Doctor, Eleventh Doctor, Eleventh Doctor is the correct answer. It is the 11th Doctor, Series 7B. I thought it would have been the 10th Doctor, personally, because I, I watched mean, that one. It depends, because the 7B one was my first uh, cosplay ah. video. So by the virtues of time, it probably piqued the curiosity enough. And the YouTube algorithm, it's unpredictable. We don't know how it's doing. We don't know YouTube. We don't understand it. Hence why I'm here. I decided to go on stage instead. <laughs> Next question, question five. Back to Doctor Who. The Doctor Who experience we miss it. Do we miss it? Do we miss the Doctor Who experience? How, put your hand up. Who went to the Doctor Who experience when it was open? Ooh. I know you two did. You took me on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I should explain. My parents are in the front row, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> yes, applaud. Yes, please applaud them. They brought me into this world. <laughs> but as we all know, the Doctor Who experience featured many different costumes, props, and monsters from across Doctor Who's hit a wide history. How many costumes can you name? So write down as many as you can, and I will give you a point for each correct answer. <laughs> I'll give them a minute. What, what? Does a Dalek count as a costume? Well, that's a good one. Shall we ask? Do you think a Dalek is a costume? 
Yes. Okay. Audience says yes. Do we have to write out all the dots individually? Hmm. Tell you what, this might take a while. So I'm going to change the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change it a bit. So I want you to write three costumes, but if any of you have the same one as each other, no points. Ooh. Interesting. So if both of you write, I don't know, Clara Oswald, no points. Plus, why would you put Clara oh, Oswald? Okay. Come on now, there's better options. Ah! <laughs> That's how I figure out my audience. I say awkward, uh, awkward opinions, disgusting opinions. We don't like opinions here. Three. Did you say the Daleks does count? The audience said the Daleks count, yes. I guess it is, because you, you have to put it on. Yeah. I People count. say inside them. There, yeah, there is a guy inside. That is a good point. So I've worn a Dalek costume. I got one. That was fun. I couldn't get out. I, I had to get a chair and, and sort of awkwardly... It, it's a whole thing. All right, we'll give them another couple of minutes. How are we doing? How are we doing? And here's the thing. I am an aficionado. If there's not one in the, in the uh, experience that you've written, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh very loud. I'm going to go, ha-ha, very loud. Have we all got three? Yeah. Dominic? How are we doing? Dominic? Dominic. Dominic. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll do it one at a time this time. If there's any crossover, I'm going to have a fun. So, Philip, let's start with you. I've gone for special weapons, Dalek. It was there, one. Uh, oh, no. Uh, that's all that face. You You're not allowed to change. Rassilon. Rassilon, yep. And Davros. Davros. So, three points so far. They are. The, but if they anybody's three, got you put down, Rory. Hey, Rory. Hey, hey, Mr. Rory. How are you doing? How you doing, buddy? You're looking a little red. <laughs> so, I've got the first Doctor. Counts. The Absorbaloff. Counts. And the Special Weapons, darling. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Oh, you know what? Two points each. I won't count the special weapon style, but yes. Well, we don't know yet. Good point. <laughs> Hi, Dom. So, the reason I took so long was I was, I was trying to think of the most obscure ones. And mm. my obscure pick was the Heaven Sent 12th Doctor, but the burnt up outfit. Correct, that was there. Um, Bill Potts. Bill Potts was indeed there. And the War Doctor. The War Doctor was indeed there. Three points to Dom, two points to Rory, and two points to Philip. Oh, it's heating up now, isn't it? Should we do a points check? Philip, how many points you got? Ten. Ten so far, Rory? Ten. Ten. Dominic? Twelve. Twelve. Oh. Ooh. Who saw that it's coming? It's getting tense. Right. Take nothing for granted. <laughs> Are you really, I keep putting you in the shadow, Dom. I do apologise. Long in the shadow. You do know they can't hear you, Dom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was born in the dark. There we go. Bane's here. Number six. This one's about our lovely good friend Rory, Mr. Seventh Doctor himself. Huh. Rory, as I said before, is known for his Dark Days audios, a terrific series of audios. But which of these three has he not yet written for? So not yet written for. Is it A, the War Master, played by Derek Jacobin? B, Jackson Lake, played by David something, something, something? Or is it C, the Tenth Doctor, played by some guy? You, you probably know. I think he's a Hootuber. So what has he not written for? I should hope you know this, Rory. <laughs> I'd be... <laughs> thinking, thinking, thinking. Ooh. Clock's ticking. Well, it's not. There's no clock. All right, turn them around. What we got? Jackson Lake, 10th Doctor, 10th Doctor. It's the 10th Doctor. And the reason <laughs> I know that is because it's me and I haven't recorded it yet. Whoops. <laughs> Well, you've recorded most of it. I've recorded half of it, but my voice gets, gets a bit sort of worn out with the 10th Doctor. It's a very tricky voice. So, moving on. Number seven, back to Doctor Who. Was that just one point? What's that, sorry? Was that just one point? One point, yeah. One point. Not ten points. Not ten points for ten. Cheeky, he's trying to get more points off me. Not having that. Number seven. In the early days of the show, back in the black and white days, we did not know of the Doctor's Time Lord heritage. But what episode was it that we found out? What was the first mention of the Time Lords in the show? And for an extra point, what year did that episode come out? Hmm, thinking. 
Is it fun watching three people think about nerd stuff? Yeah, I'm getting a big nod from Fez. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my brain has completely frozen. Excellent. <laughs> That's what I want. I want my guests to be confused and not know what to do on stage. Like me. Have we all got an answer? Turn them around, what have we got? The, the war, war games. games. Yeah. The war games, the war games. That is the right answer, but the year. Oh, I don't know. 1969. Two points to Rory, two one, points to Dom. One awful phone. I and thought I you were going to say starting I assume I get one getting the year wrong. You get one little point. Oh. One little, little point. I can't uh -huh. believe I Now, you may have noticed. I did a question about Philip. I did a question about Rory. I did a question about Dom. Who am I missing? Trashy. This <laughs> Leave him out of this. <laughs> it's me! Hi! You think I'd leave one out about me. You don't know me very well, do you? I'm very vain. I'm the host. I kind of need to be. Me! The community show. The reason we are here. There it is. Is a show I only started in sort of June, July time. But in that time, I have had many terrific guests on. How many of them can you name? Interesting. Does anybody, has anybody watched the community show? I'm curious. Well, I know you two have. One, two, three. Three, I'll take three. <laughs> well, five if you count mummy and daddy. Now, I'll give you a hint. There is a potential 17 points to be gained. I've only done 10 episodes, but there are 17 possible guests. So we'll give them a minute. Give them a little minute. There's no Doctor Who actors here this year, is there? That's a shame. There's Tom Hiddleston, though. That's pretty good. He basically is a doctor. Why not? He's very expensive, though. Have you seen how much he is for a autograph? It's like 200. I mean, we should... Listen, this is Comic-Con. Anyone could be listening. I'd very much like to come back. <laughs> Excellent fair, fair prices. <laughs> Please shop MCM Comic-Con London. There we go. We're sorted. I got a lot of people turn from over there. Hi! No, they're ignoring me now. It's rude, quite frankly. No, I'm not coming back. I'm going to be thrown out. <laughs> this will be ripped off me. No, I'm keeping this. This is mine forever. Get my steps in today, Christ. I really should have gotten a chair. I said, no, I don't need a chair. I'll walk around. That was a mistake. Have we all got answers? Are we all still thinking? Not many. <laughs> all right, we'll go down the way. Hey, Philip. I'm, uh, that whiteboard's looking a little, little short a little, of names little there. Uh, I've watched every episode. I can't remember. I'm not very good at remembering people's names. Let's see how he did. <laughs> Philip. Uh, well, Dom. Dom is one. Um, and with him, Meg and Luke. Meg and Luke, that's yes, three. Got, got their names right. That's good. Um, <laughs> Rory the... Is that the kid's name or the Dalek's Rory name? Rory is the kid's the name. Kid's yes. name. To be yeah. fair, that's not me. Um, and Colin's the Dalek. <laughs> Colin we, can is I count the Dalek. Colin? I didn't actually write Colin him, Colin does I've, count. I have just remembered I interviewed him. a Dalek. <laughs> so that, that's all I've got. That's four... No, that's five, five points five, to okay. Philip. Let's go to Rory. Let's see how he did. Rory, how are we doing? Hello. <laughs> I've got DW2012, Dom, Megan and Luke. That's three. Uh, Daniel J. Patton. Which that's four. Recently. Ali E. Torre. That's five. Colin the Dalek and fellow Rory. That's six, seven. Uh, spectral Horizons, but I couldn't name them all. That counts as a point. That is eight points there. And have you uh, interviewed Abby Louise? Or? I have not interviewed Abby Louise. She is on the list, though. That is eight points to Rory. That puts him ahead of the game. Mr. Dominic, let's okay. see how you did. Okay, so I got Luke, Meg, myself, obviously. I'd be surprised if you didn't. Yeah. Three. Funny enough, I also did put Abby Louise uh, for ah, some reason. Ah, rude. Uh, Although I've mentioned her in basically yeah. every episode. She keeps popping up everywhere. Feels like, it, feel, it feels right. Going to have to do it. But um, she actually lives about five minutes away from me. So it is entirely possible. <laughs> you yeah, never know. Fact. All right, uh, I also got Daniel Patton. Four. Ali Torre. Five. Katie Haynes. Six. And Black Love Studios. I have the not the, interviewed Black uh, Love Studios. Brigadier guy. Yep. I didn't interview him. Oh. He only sent a video in. Oh, I see. Fool! Oh. Let me just double count. I've completely lost count. A one, two, three, a four, a five, a six. Six points to Dom. Okay. You could have also had James Sutton. Yeah. You could have had 
the four members of Spectral Horizons, Taya, Marcus, Flame, and Antonio. You could have had Andy, the dad, you know, the one I spoke to the most. <laughs> Everyone remembers the cute two-year-old. No one remembers the man that made the two, that, yeah, that came out weird. You, <laughs> yeah, James Sutton, there's also Joe, who does Venus Flint. There's also Clayton, who does the fan game. And there was also my first one, Bo, the artist, uh... who made, uh, what's I, oh no, I'm not wearing the, per the pumpkin one, never mind. She does some merch for me though. <laughs> But yes, let's see. That was the last question. Let's see how they did. Oh. Philip, what's the points? Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 to Philip. Rory, how are we doing? Oh, he's done tally marks. He must have seen some silence. Reference. 21. 21. That's a bit more than Philip. Dominic? 20. Oh! Whoa. Dominic G. Martin, second place. That's like losing to you. don't need to, to rub you. it in, do you, boy? Oh, that's what Congratulate. I'm here for. Oh, Congratulations to here. Rory. Woo. Woo. That's and fine. Got I'm next so time, nice. Dom. And because I'm so nice, I have brought prizes for all three of you. I mean, the worst one goes to three, but, you know, you get my point. <laughs> if I can... There it is. Number three, third place, Philip Hawkins. You get a magnet. Aww. It's a TARDIS magnet. Give it's him a hand. TARDIS magnet. He that was lovely, nice wasn't he? Number two, Mr. Dominic. Something I'm sure you probably already have. A copy of the t of the Mind Robber. A copy. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, I've done well there, haven't I? And finally, for first place, hmm? is a TARDIS Bluetooth speaker. Oh wow. To Rory. Ooh. Yes, there you go. Give him a hand. This is a good prize. It's Fun really fact good. about all these, from my flat. I, I, <laughs> look, I don't have a lot of money, so I just rummaged around. I found a magnet. I found a copy of the Mind Robber that I hadn't opened. And I found a blue teeth speaker, which I won in a big finish competition. So hooray! <laughs> That's gone well, hasn't it? Oh, I just kicked you. No, I kicked your chair. It's fine. <laughs> I kicked your suitcase, I think. I, I, I did, but I thought the suitcase... You see, <laughs> let's talk about this for the next hour. What did I kick? <laughs> what is kicking? This is the content you came to see. <laughs> now, could I have a time check, please, Mr. Philip, as you've got your phone just there? Yes, it is 11.33. Oh, we're doing well. We're doing well on time. Now, funny story. I thought the quiz would take longer than that. <laughs> Now you've got to Bonus round. It out. Bonus round. <laughs> no, I, of course, have an idea, which is a Q&A. I thought some of you might have questions for our lovely guests up here. So I'm just going to come around and shove a microphone in your face. Hands up if you've got a question for any of the fabulous people up here. One. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good sign. Hello, what's your name? Uh, Mummy. <laughs> yeah. What's your question, Mummy? Um, my favourite doctor is Tom Baker. Who is your favourite doctor? Oh, good question. What, let's, let's go down the way. Wow, it's weird to hear my voice from this angle. Oh, God. <laughs> is that what you guys hear? I'm so sorry. Philip, what's your favourite doctor? I've got two. Um, That's cheating. That's not one favourite. Paul McGann, as the eighth doctor, is kind of my doctor from my childhood because I'm a wilderness ch years baby. Um, a wilderness years child, anyway. I was... I was Born when they're Much like the timeless yeah. children. Yes, exactly. He um, is a timeless child, confirmed. Chibnall, so I got it out before you could. Hi. I was 11 when the TV movie came on, so I was like the perfect age for, for getting into Doctor Who then. And uh, so he's got a very special place in my heart, and I, I love his big finish stuff. But also Peter Capaldi, who is also just fabulous. Who is here with us tonight? It's Peter Capaldi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> No, excellent choices. Rory, what's your favourite? So, I'm probably going to give a more convoluted answer, but I don't really have a favourite. I mean, I never really have, but... You're dressed as one. <laughs> um, I like all Doctors, because I see them all as the same character. They're all, you know, they're all, they all explore different aspects to the same Time Lord. Uh, I like all of them, from William Hartnell to David Warner to Lenny Henry. I, I really just... L hold on. Lenny Henry is your favourite Doctor? No, 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 no. I want that they're, on a T-shirt. They're all my favourites, really. And uh, really just... They're all my Doctor. They're all just... Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Everybody say, oh. Thank Bad you. Bad answer. <laughs> <laughs> 
all you gotta say is David Tennant. Then everyone mm. will love you, Rory. <laughs> uh, my favorite doctor is David Tennant. You Everybody heard... loves him now. Yay! <laughs> you no, heard it we got there eventually, didn't we? <laughs> Lenny Henry's David my favorite Tennant. doctor too. Dominic, what's your? Oh, I'm coming over to you. I haven't seen you yet. How you doing? I am okay. Good. Is the this uh, is this threatening yet? You no, doing? you couldn't threaten me. <laughs> is this threatening? Yes. Help! He was supposed to stay in his chair. I'm getting back down. Getting back down. We're peaceful people here. What's your favourite Doctor Tom? Well, I love Tom Baker. He was one that I absolutely adore. And it really depends on the day, depending on my favourite Doctor is, because I have two go-betweens. It's either Tom Baker or Peter Capaldi, obviously. I'm wearing it, aren't I? So, yeah, it's those two that really captured my, uh, my heart, shall I say, and uh, that I just love their performances. I mean, I love all the Doctors, but those two in particular just have a very very big resonance with me, and I really just love watching them. Oh, yeah. Excellent answers all round. Has anybody else got a question for anyone here? Oh, I see a hand. Hello, what's your name? Uh, Harry. Hello, Harry. You're the one that knows Rory, isn't it? There we go. What's your question? Uh, so, Russell T. Davis is coming back to Doctor Who after Chibnall's gone. Uh, what are your thoughts on what direction do you hope it takes? Who's Russell T. Davis again? <laughs> the other guy. So not Moffat, the other one. Oh, oh, yeah, he wrote the TV movie, didn't he? Right, Philip, what do you think? <laughs> Russell T. Davis is coming back, hooray! Yeah, oh yeah, it's exciting, why not? I mean, he's a fantastic writer, um, and the stuff he's done since leaving Doctor Who has been absolutely phenomenal. It's a Sin, most recently, was just amazing drama. Years and years before that um, was fantastic. So I think he's... He's grown even more as a writer since he left Doctor Who, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings from what he's developed into since back. Definitely. I, I'm, I'm banking on the Absorbalov coming back. If they don't get Peter Kay in that suit again, I riot. Rory, anything to add? Uh, yeah, so I grew up with the Rusty Davis era, and, you know, it was always my first, and I'm really looking forward to him going back. Plus, it's the one time I've actually, like, enjoyed the Twitter atmosphere. It's, you know, not ah, usually... Ah, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. But, yes, so, um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. I think if any... Like, people are going to say he's going to mimic his initial era, but I feel like if the one person who isn't going to imitate that era, it's going to be Russell, because he's developed a lot, and he's a really good writer. Definitely. Dominic, anything to add? Yeah, he is... Uh, Russell, in terms of his recent work, is in on incredible form, so uh, I think we're very lucky and blessed to have him back to the show in this particular year, really. Well, it's going to be, when he comes back, it's going to be really interesting, especially how he's going to do the 60th anniversary. I'm very much looking forward to how he's going to approach that, because he's going to have to introduce a new Doctor, or maybe a multi-Doctor, who knows what he's going to do, but I have no doubt in my mind that it's going to be something special. I don't think he's going to revisit his older stuff as much as some people may think, of course, but uh, we'll see how he handles it. Definitely. Um, Thank you for the question, Harry. Has anybody else got a question? One at the back. I'm running. Here I come. 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 Hello. What's your name? Uh, Cormac. Cormac. Good name. I don't meet a lot of Cormacs. What's your question, Cormac? Um, uh, on a similar vein to the like favourite doctor, do you have like a favourite Time Lord? Like, uh, we're, we'll include Donna as well, but like Master the, I don't know, insert other Time Lords here. Rassilon, Morbius, I don't know. Favourite Time Lord? Omega. I love Omega. Uh, he should come back, and if he doesn't, I'm going to, well, like I said, I'm going to riot. I'm a rioter. Look at me. I'm clearly against establishment. Oh, I was about to call you Rory. <laughs> you're not Rory, you're Philip. Philip. Oh, hello, Rory. Favourite Time Lord? <laughs> Favourite Time Lord? But, but I'm presuming I can't say the Doctor. Uh, Favourite no. Time Lord other than the Doctor? Um... That's a tough one. Uh, oh, can I take someone from Big Finish that's not, not Ooh, been in the yes. show? Because the yes. Eleven uh, in Big Finish, just a fantastic character. For those who don't listen to the Big Finish audios, it's a Time Lord where all of his personality, he's up to his 11th incarnation, but all of his personalities are talking in his head. So all of his past incarnations have a person different personality and they're all competing for space in his head, which works wonderfully on audio. Um, and it's played by Mark Bonnard, who is a fantastic actor. Um, so, yeah, I, I really want to see him in live action as well. I'd love it if they brought that character over to the series. Oh, an excellent choice. Rory, what about you? Um, well, I was... See, I'd say the master, but as much as I love the master, I, I want to say 
I don't want to say Rassilon, because that would be kind of predictable in the name. So I'm going to say a Time Lord named The Other. Now, uh, that's, um, if you haven't read like the novels or anything, that was basically the Doctor before he became a Doctor. It's this sort of reincarnation thing. And he's very mysterious, and I like that mysterious aspect to him. Uh, also, like when he's been on a show, like with uh, all the producers and directors taking like mug shots and including them, it, it's all very interesting to me. And if you haven't seen my channel, I really enjoy lore and canon and all that. So it's just really fun to like that incarnation, I suppose. Yeah. I feel like my my answer is the most not obscure. I should have picked a really obscure one. <laughs> Don. Dominic, how about you? I'm feeling the same. My answer's just, at this point, feels generic in comparison to those two. <laughs> so, it's the master for me. Who's, Which uh, master? My Derek Jacobi. Good choice. Derek Jacobi. Well, I also love Anthony Ainley. Yeah. But Ainley. the war master is just something else. Um, but those two particular incarnations of the master, I believe, both exemplify evil extraordinarily well. So, yeah, it would have to be those two for me. Some excellent choices. Any more questions? Hand in the air. Tell you what, I'll just come into the audience. I've seen a lot of questions. I'll come with you, sir, at the front. Hello, what's your name? Ian. Hi, Ian. Hi. I'd like to ask the panel whether they have a favourite episode and why. Oh, good questions. What are we thinking? Favourite episodes? I don't have one. No, actually, mine is Heaven Sent, the Peter Capaldi episode. It, it's perfect. I wouldn't change a darn thing about it. Philip, how about you? Hey, that's what I was going to say too. Heaven sent. Ah. Yeah, it's it's just a perfect episode. With I mean, it's not an episode that you would show someone and go, "This is what Doctor Who is," because it's very different from every other episode. But it's just it's just phenomenal bit of storytelling, and Peter Capaldi holds it all by himself. It's just he, great. You could give him a, like a manual for a car, and he'll make it sound dramatic. Put it in gear, Rory. This is a difficult one, because if you couldn't gather from my favorite doctor, I'm not very good at picking favorites. But, uh, Lenny Henry. <laughs> uh, I could just say the curse of fatal death. Yes, the comic relief special. But, um, uh, I'm going to say on the spot, because I, I like uh, most episodes. I want to pick a seventh doctor episode, because uh, I'm dressed up as him. And I could say Delta and the Bannerman, just to annoy you. Delta and the Bannerman <laughs> sucks. Oh, come on, give it a chance. It's it like, does. Uh, if you think different, you're wrong. <laughs> don't listen to him, watch it, it's brilliant. But uh, I'm <laughs> going to say The uh, Curse of Fenric, because it's so excellently written, like how the whole thing revolves around chess and like Ace, and just 10 out of 10. It, if you put McCoy and Ace in a story, it's going to be good. Oh, That's what Fenric. Delta and the Bannerman got wrong, because it was Mel. Ah, that's Mel, that's Mel. Mel just, wasn't ah, too bad. That's it. Dominic, your favourite story? Caves of Androzani for me. Ah, Absolutely classic. legendary. Oh, we've got Caves back. Hey, got he's dressed as Peter Davison. Of course he's going to say Caves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's, seriously, it's such a fantastic story. A heroic way for the Fifth Doctor to go out. It is just, oh, it's marvellous. It's absolutely marvellous. And right. uh, love it. It's not my favourite. What? <laughs> That's not my favourite. Put it close to the mic. Come on, have some dick to speak. Caves <laughs> isn't as good as people say it is. Excuse me? What is it now? Um, Would you like to debate this, sir? Now, who else has got a question? Oh, you, sir. What's your name? Yo, I'm Ben. Yo, Ben. Yo, what's up? <laughs> um, so, obviously, Whitaker's era is coming to an end. What's your favourite Whitaker episode? I know it's a tricky one, because... <laughs> and I thought I was spitting some hot takes. Ooh, favourite Whitaker episodes? I'll be honest, I don't like a lot of them. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Not because I hate women, like a lot of the internet does. I don't know. I'll, I'll throw it to you lot and I'll come back. Philip. It's between the first of the Dalek specials that uh, Chris Chibnall writes. Uh, yeah, I always forget the, which way around the names are. Resolution, yeah. That one. Or yeah. Rosa. I really liked Rosa. Um, I thought that was a, just a great bit of, um, great bit of drama. Um, and some real sort of tug on the heartstrings emotional storytelling, which is, it, it was really good. Definitely. Rory, how about you? See, I'm watching, uh, like, rewatching it. It's, I've realized that the era is just, you know, it's not something you watch down, you sit down to watch seriously, in a way. It's just something you have fun with. Much like Delta and the Bannerman, by the way. Stop mentioning <laughs> Delta and the Bannerman. 
Uh, that uh, word is banned. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the bandsman. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'm not getting these guests back. Uh, I'll do the show again. See, I'm going to say I, I really enjoyed Nikola Tesla, also haunting Rosa demons, but I'm going to say the timeless children, which uh, controversial, I know, but I don't know. It, 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 it can be boring in some areas, like there's way too many characters, just saying. But I know, I liked the plot between Jody and the master, and yeah, it was just a good episode. Hey. Oh, you got one clap. Thank you. you got one clap for Timeless <laughs> Children, of all things. Interesting. Dominic, go ahead. Um, my favorite would have to be The Haunting of Villa Diodati. Um, that would be my favorite. It just feels like the most, I mean, I shot in that episode is so well done uh, in terms of like how Cybermen are done in the new series. So I really liked him as a villain. And I really thought the episode was just very, very good by the, through the, uh, yeah, it was just well written really. Uh, it was Maxine Alderton, I believe, uh, who wrote it, wasn't it, Phil? Maxine Alderton wrote it, was it? Yes, who's coming back for, for the, the, the only guest series, writer yeah. coming back for the next series. Yeah, the rest is probably my favorite there. writer of the new one, so that, yeah. That, that's one so, thing I'd like to add about the Timeless Children is that they, what they did with the Lone Cyberman was, I hated that so much. Ah, like so that, your favourite one, you have things that you hate completely. I think, I think that's Welcome the same to with the Witty career, everybody. <laughs> oh, dude, this, see, it's working for the audience. As soon as this goes on YouTube, I'm going to be cancelled. <laughs> so I look forward to that. Uh, do we still have time? I think we have uh, time for one more question. Hands up, hands up. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll do quick fire. Hold on. Here we go, quick fire. Hello, what's your name? Alex. Worst companion and why? Worst companion. Uh, Philip, go. Worst companion. Worst. Oh, uh, come back to me. <laughs> Rory. <laughs> um, um, Tell me. Uh, Tell me the truth. Will it willing to say... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm going, for, I'm going, for, I'm going for Mel. Uh, I'm going for Mel. Mel. Uh, I'm going to say Chameleon in the TV show. Not Big Finish, but TV show. I forgot he existed. Dom. <laughs> Stop it. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know what's more here, I'm going to have to say... I, I, I was going to say Chameleon by pure virtue of just how much difficulty he caused for the people behind the scenes. Because there was so much difficulty in, uh, in terms of trying to get him to work and everything. So just for the sheer hassle, Chameleon, fortunately. Mel, the Seventh Doctor's era would have been so much better if he just jumped in the eight. Just saying, Mel is Hello, McCoy. Bad. What's your name? Um, Ollie. No, it's not. It's the Doctor. Hello, Ollie. How, what's your question? Uh, what are your top three favourite companions? Top three favourite companions. Philip? Um, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Come back to me again. Rory? Number one, Sarah Jane. Uh, yeah. Number two, Evelyn Smythe. And number three, Ace McShane. Very good choices. Sarah Don't. Jane, Martha Jones, and um, who else do I like that is reasonably good, I've got to say? Bill Potts. Oh, Bill Potts. Oh, you got some Bill Potts love. I'd probably go Donna, Ace, and Ace again, because she's that good. Hands up. Any other questions? Peter Davison, I see you. I'm coming. I'm coming, Peter <laughs> Davison. Um, What's your name? Joseph. Uh, Favourite costume of each doctor. Favourite costume of each doctor. <laughs> oh, we got some interesting questions. Wait, what, what was the question? Who's going to say Jodie Whittaker? See, it's easy for me. Uh, from each doctor? God, um... <laughs> Should we, let's just go with just a doctor. A doctor. Okay, the 11th Doctor's uh, 7B outfit. Oh, the purple coat. Purple coat, Good yeah, choice. and the waist jacket. Funny enough, that's my least favourite, but... Um, Hot yeah. takes. Uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> one clap. You, they, uh, it's the uh, same one. It's the one in the Fez. <laughs> he loves you. Find him after the show. Don't be mean. I like the Fez, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say just all the Pertwees. I can't pick Pertwee's one. Pertwee's a style just icon, yeah. Every single one of his. You can't go wrong with that lovely velvet. Dominic. Season 18, Tom Baker. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Oh, we've got some <laughs> claps. Oh, you know you've made a good choice when the audience claps. My one, I don't actually know. I was trying to do this quick fire. My brain's frazzled. I'm just going to go with me, because I am a style icon. Hands up, any other questions before we stop? Oh, we got another one there. Hello. Hello, serialised Doctor Who like Flux, yes or no? Oh, is Flux a good idea? What do we think? 
Yeah, I've been wanting a serialized uh, season of Doctor Who for ages, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Rory? I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm mixed on it. I do like the serious, like, serialized aspect to it, but it's like, does it work in a modern like, TV landscape? Maybe. It, it... I think it works more now than it would have done 10 years ago, in fact. I think more TV is serialized now and people are more used yeah. to it than maybe 10 years ago. I, I, yeah, and yeah, I, I, do, I do think it would work, yeah, and, I, and I'd like it. Okay, and Dom? Uh, well, as in terms of the current series, uh, I mean the next series, Just or in general. Flux, what do you think? Is oh, it yeah. a good word or not? Should it be in the dictionary? Is this? Um, Pretty sure it is. What? Yeah, it is. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. I'll have to buy a dictionary. Hmm. What is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot of things, Dom, <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm on stage at Comic Con. Somehow, that's what's wrong. How did I get here? <laughs> Help! <laughs> it just hit me as just well. Just yank him off stage. Uh, you know. I keep jumping off minutes. stage. I keep trying to escape. <laughs> Where's right. the hook? Right. I think that about wraps up our time. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for your questions, and have a great rest of your con. Thank you.